the enterprise architecture-based information framework and its environment. In recent videos, we spoke about enterprise architecture, the various needs in an enterprise and the resulting challenges. We also introduced an information framework that can help you to overcome these challenges. In this video, we would like to take a closer look at this framework and to connect it with what we have said earlier when we looked at the challenges. When we talked earlier about the challenges in business and IT, we started with the stakeholders. These stakeholders have roles in the enterprise which we can relate easily with the information framework. Each role, of course, has to meet specific targets in the company and thus has slightly different views of the enterprise. This leads us to what we call viewpoints. The CIO or a business lead, for example, will have a high interest in information at a strategy level. As leaders, they develop strategies and also want to be sure that these strategies are translated into action. They might not, however, want to understand what this means in detail to a physical installation. We can say that these roles, like several others, put their main focus on one single level. Let's stay with the viewpoints for a while. There are additional roles that need to consider two levels and especially the connection between these levels. As one example, the IT architect has to understand which products need to be deployed. This is described at the products level. This role also has to understand the installation requirements of the relevant software packages and hardware boxes, however. Finally, there is another role which is of particular interest here as we are talking about enterprise architecture. The enterprise architect has a strong vertical focus on the information framework. This architect might not be interested in all the details in one level, but in how the pieces in these levels are related to each other. You can imagine that all these roles have their very own concerns. The IT architect, for instance, might have the concern that some backend systems are pretty old and that understanding the options to improve user experience in these systems is probably a difficult task. In another company, the IT architect might be concerned with how to simplify the current system landscape. Another example could be the CIO or even the CEO who might be concerned by the fact that their users are unsatisfied. How can these users be satisfied with a better user experience? Some concerns can be solved within one level. Others require cooperation between roles in all levels, however. It is these concerns that interest us the most. Our idea is to collect common customer concerns, describe them and attach them to what we call architecture viewpoints. These architecture viewpoints provide information about the major elements in all relevant levels to tackle these concerns. In the next video, we will look into a specific concern and what a corresponding architectural viewpoint could look like. If you enjoyed this video, please let us know and leave a comment.